What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Video Games Monthly? What's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here with a brand new video from Do You Nerd. What was that? What what are you? I am Retro AF. Hey, that's right. So let's get in to this bag to get a box. Yes, we're gonna have to go right to Ludicrous Speed. Yes, Video Games Monthly, just the one box, but it's the first box of a brand new year. I predict a calendar. A calendar? That's your prediction for the, they, they like to throw <laughs> trinkets in there? Would be a good one, be a handy one. So what is Video Games Monthly? Let me tell you via Limerick. Uh, there once was a box for subscribing. Inside, retro games for the finding. Pick a tier in your systems. All of your other games list them. Now let's open the box. What's wrong with you? Okay, something Lady Lacey likes to do is try to give me some hints to see if I can guess these games. Play, I know every single game in existence. Hey, is this a, uh, is this a co-op offering? Hi. All right. So what is up first? So the, uh, card telling you populate your list and, uh, you know, post on social media and you could win some free games. Is there another card? Good. Ooh, a two-up. Nice. Very nice. Hey, 2022 two-up. How about fighting in the galaxy? Fighting in the galaxy. Star Wars? Two? <laughs> Attack the, of the Clones? Star Wars 2, the original trilogy on Lego. Oh, really? On Game Boy That's Advance? weird. Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. <laughs> that is kind of strange. You know, I didn't know that uh, the Lego games made it to the Game Boy Advance. I knew there were some on the DS. But we are longtime fans of the Lego games. Star Wars Adventure Ever Assembled. <laughs> Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. In fact, the Lego Star Wars games were the games that I used to get her hooked on the series, and we've played through just about all of them. Uh, we've not played through any of the handheld ones, so mm -hmm. probably not co op. On this, since it's just a Game Boy Advance? Yeah, I would doubt that. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> questions! The game! <laughs> no! Uh, so it's a Nickelodeon thing. Do 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 Nickelodeon! Nickelodeon. Game. And it has to do with challenges. Rugrats! No. Doug! No. Uh, You're never going to get this. Okay, so, Tech the Great Juju Challenge. Well, I have not played any of the Tech games on handheld, but I did play a couple of them. I think I played one on maybe PS2 and definitely on GameCube. Tech and the Power of Juju. Tech games are fun 3D platformers. So, question is, what am I looking at <laughs> on uh, on a handheld? Is it going to be that isometric view, or is it going to be a side scroller? And I do recall that there was a tech cartoon, but I never watched that. Nickelodeon. He's a little caveman. Oh, I'm just a caveman. It's a Famicom. Nice. Guess, of course, I'll never get this. <laughs> guess it's color. Uh, green. No. Purple. No. Blue. No. Red. No. Red, blue, green. Those are colors. Yellow. Yes. 
Nacho! <laughs> Pro. <laughs> Colonel Mustard, the game. It's something that athletes like to do. Cheat at the Olympics. <laughs> no. The Summer Olympics, though. Oh, Summer Olympics? Yeah. Run and yes. gun? Yes. No, the first one. <laughs> so, track, track all stars, but track what, meet. What do you do when you pick something up and you put it in a truck? Haul? No. Deliver? No. <laughs> Move? Load? <laughs> I was getting there, I said load. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Load Runner, actually, this is a game that I've played on the NES, and I actually like Load Runner. It's a fun little. I like the color. Puzzle game. <laughs> of course, you'd like the color. That is a bright... It is ugh. bright yellow. Oh, where'd the game go? We lost the game. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where'd the game go? Whew. That was a close one, guys. Super close. Um, well, I don't know what's up with the uh, the back here. Captain Algebra ought to appreciate this, but 19. A little bit of a Dark Tower reference. Mm -hmm. We have a GameCube game. Nice. Ooh, and you know what? I bet there's a good chance... That Retro Wolf 88 does not have this in his collection because he sold all of his. <gasps> Traitor. All right, everybody. It's time for me to start packing the games up. This is a sport, but a sport you're allowing them to send you. Okay, so racing? No. Wrestling? No. Mario? No. No. And he's a pro. Pro baseball? You wouldn't let them send you baseball games. Pro... From the 90s. Skater? Yeah. Tony Hawk's Underground? No. Oh. I'm so embarrassed. I wish everybody else was dead. Where do we throw our trash? Tony Hawk's Wasteland. Yes. <laughs> I was getting there. You were getting there. Well, we have a manual, but this is not an actual GameCube case. So, this thing's basically trash. No, I'm joking, of course. The Tony Hawk games, obviously, usually a good time, especially if you have a group of people pass the controller around. Something I've actually always liked about the Tony Hawk games has been the soundtrack, because I do enjoy some good punk music. Uh, so we'll have to see if this one's any good. Look at this. My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, and Taking Back Sunday covering punk classics. Did I not say the 90s? Interesting. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very happy to have this. Otherwise complete, I probably have an extra case somewhere. I can swap that out anyway. All right, we got... Sega. Good, good. We, we don't want to make the Sega gods angry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hi, kids. How are ya? Anyway, this is our favorite 90s cartoon. X-Men? Mm -hmm. Nice. So... X-Men... X-Men 2 The Clone Wars on Sega Genesis. No, not the Clone Wars, but X-Men 2. Who's on the cover? Not the Clone Wars? No. Oh. Uh... But it is X-Men 2. Oh, it is. Sorry, it's written on the top. It wasn't written on the front. So, yes. Clone Wars. No, you didn't tell me who's on the front. Everyone. No. Gambit. No. Wolverine. Yes. <laughs> How come Wolverine gets the whole... Because everyone loves Wolverine. You had your own game. Okay, cool. <laughs> X-Men 2. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I, I really like the X-Men games that came out uh, on Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. I was terrible at the ones at Sega Genesis. Guys, you'll have to leave a comment down below and let us know. Did you feel like the ones on Genesis were a little tougher or not? But... I did like how, uh, of course, with most of the X-Men games, you could choose which X-Men you wanted to play. 
Destroy the phalanx of Asia Doom in X-Men 2, Clone Wars, from Sega. Those are some long claws. I he always... hasn't been to the nail salon in a while, so they haven't filed them down. Oh, or the gonna... vet. I guess you'd do that at the vet. Yeah. Where does Wolverine get his claws done? The vet or the nail salon? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a when I very, walk, drag on the ground, bub. very nice box. Some Tony Hawk yeah. can't go wrong there. Love some X Men, a classic that I was already playing. Plus some Game Boy Advance games. Attack was good time. We love the Lego games. So, all right, nicely done, nicely done, VGM. Great way to start off the new year, especially. With that two, two up. But where's my calendar? How am I supposed to know what the days wow. are this year? Wow, that's that's the thing that you're mad <laughs> that's about. What I'm, that's what I'm taking away from this. Anyway, <laughs> Nerdlings, please let us know if you've played any of these. As always, we love to hear from you. And um, make sure you knock first, obviously. I said don't disturb you, I'm cleaning my room! Like, notification bell. Plus, don't forget the wise, sage advice of the lovely Lady Lacey. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh website because it's beautiful. And if we like it... We nerd it for retro games. AF. A-F. A-F. After food. That's right. I'm hip. I'm with it. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Where's the way way back? That way. There we go. That's, that's the problem. Stay. <laughs> <laughs>